What is up guys, hope you all have an amazing day just like always and welcome back to new Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Today is going to be all about your specs for those who are looking to buy a new PC or build their own. I've received lots of questions like is this PC good enough, what PC would you recommend, how much would I need to spend to be able to play this flight simulator at the highest settings. And in this video I'm going to show you what I would recommend for you to get and how much everything costs. This video will be separated into two different sections. The first part is for people that know how to build a PC on their own, and the second is for pre-built PCs, so for the people that don't know how to build their own PC. Let us, let us get started. So you've been wondering what specs you need for a sim, and you know how to build a PC. For the minimum specs, I would recommend a CPU, which goes by AMD Ryzen 5 3600. I would recommend this because it's a 6 core processor at 3.6 GHz, which can be boosted to 4.2, and more than you need for a cheap price. Of course, with this CPU, you can also look at even the recommended settings. For the cooler, I'd recommend the Cooler Master Hyper 212. It's a solid cooler for a very cheap price. Of course, you can go for an AIO if you choose to. For the motherboard, I'd go for the MSI B450 Tomahawk Max. Um, it's an AM4, good memory speed, and it will support the Zen 4, or Zen 3 in the future, actually, when they, when, when they come out. For the RAM, um, there's 8 gigabytes of 3.2 MHz, or 3200 MHz Ripjaws V. It's a very cheap price and good MHz speed for the minimum specs. For the storage, 500 gigabyte SSD which we'll be using this entire time. For the graphics card, we have an RX 570 4GB. It's cheap and nothing special, only I think 200 US dollars. For the power supply, we use the Corsair 450 Watt Bronze Certified. Nothing special again, just so you can power everything. And for the case, you can choose whatever you want. But I went for a deep cool Tesseract, as it's cheap and has everything you look for in such a build. The price is going to be 700 US dollars for all of this, so for the minimum specs. And with these specs, you might be able to even play medium specs or medium settings. For recommended, I'd go for a CPU, again the same thing, AMD Ryzen 5 3600, as it's a cheap 6 cores at 3.6 gigahertz, and it's more than you need. For the cooler, I went for the same one again, the CM Hyper 212 motherboard, again the same thing, the MSI B450 Tomahawk Max. For RAM, I went for 16GB at 3600MHz with the Ripjaws V, which is also plenty, especially with the 3600MHz. Make sure you want to go for a higher megahertz, you don't want to go for 2000-ish megahertz, as it's going to greatly impact or well, not greatly, but it's going to have a big impact on your game. Storage, again, 500GB SSD. Graphics card is an RX 590, 8GB of VRAM. For power supply, I went for the EVGA 500W Bronze Certified. Again, nothing special. And again, for the case, you can go for whatever you want. In this case, I went for the Pantex Eclipse P300A. The total price of this is exactly US dollars down below, I'm also going to leave in the comment sections um, the link to each of these builds so you can check them out and choose or change anything you'd like on them. And for the ideal specs, yeah, we're going to go for a CPU i9 10900K. It's a 10 core processor at 3.7 GHz. It's ideal for gaming, and you can overclock it to 5.3 GHz. For the cooler, I went for the Cooler Master Master Liquid, which is also an AIO and is perfect for this. If you want to overclock to a lot, then I would recommend getting a little bit of a bigger AIO or a big fan tower. For motherboard, I went for the MSI Z490 with Wi-Fi. has great memory speeds and 128GB of RAM. Well, it has a max of 128GB of RAM. Perfect for this. And for storage, again, 500GB SSD. You can always add more. This is just for the sim alone. For video card, we went for the RTX 2080, or 2080. Super 8GB of VRAM, great um, core clock speed, it's GDDR6, but I would personally wait for the 3000 series to come out, but if you want to play the sim at the best settings right now, then this is going to be perfect for you. 
But again, wait for the 3000 series, which is going to come, or hopefully come out later this year. And for the power supply, I went for the Corsair 750 watt gold certified, which is plenty of enough for this setup. And the case is the NZXT H510, which I actually personally have. Looks great, and honestly, I have nothing to complain about. It has great um, fans. Yeah, and for the price, it's a total of 1,900 US dollars. Okay, so we finished that now. Now we're going to move on to the PC building for people that don't know how to build their own PC and would just want to get a pre-built PC so they can still enjoy Microsoft Flight Simulator without having to build their own PC. I'd recommend getting a Skytech Blaze 2 gaming computer, which is going to be enough to play on minimum and maybe even recommended settings. We're going to be looking at a Ryzen 5 2600, which is a 6 core processor at 3.4 GHz. So this is one um, version lower than the one I recommended. We also have an GeForce GTX 1660 at 6 GB of VRAM, 500 GB SSD, and 8 GB of DDR4. It also has Windows 10 pre installed on it if you are looking to be having that on your PC. The RAM is also a 3000 MHz, a little bit lower, but it's going to be plenty of enough to run on minimum settings. This is going to cost you a total of 800 US dollars. Of course, it's going to be a little bit cheaper, a little bit more expensive than building your own because you are paying for somebody to pre build it and it's basically a finished product. Moving on to the recommended specs, I'd recommend getting a Skytech again. The Archangel gaming computer costs a total of a thousand US dollars. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM at 3000 megahertz, which is good enough. I'd personally recommend getting 3200 or 3600 if you can. Um, we have a Ryzen 5 3600 in here, which is from AMD with a base clock speed of 3.6 gigahertz. It's actually the same one I recommended in my build. For the recommended settings, which is going to be good enough, you can boost it up to 4.2 GHz. For the graphics card, we have a GeForce GTX 1660 Super with 6 GB of VRAM, which is going to be, again, plenty of enough for recommended specs. We have 500 GB SSD and Windows 10 is pre-installed on it. Um, this is a great computer for the price for recommended settings. Of course, you're going to be spending a little bit more money because this is a pre-built PC, just like always. And let's move on to the ideal specs. I'd personally recommend getting the Skytech Siege game computer. Again, this is going to be overpriced due to the fact that it's a pre-built PC, but on Amazon, it's kind of hard to find good value for what are you getting, basically. There's also an Omen HP, but it has 32 gigabytes of RAM, but it's only 2,666 megahertz, which is very low, and you do not want to get that. So I'd recommend getting the Sky Siege Gaming Computer, which costs a total of 2,400 US dollars, so that's $500 more expensive than what I built on my PC, and my PC even has better specs than this. Um, the one I recommended, obviously. I kind of spend a crazy amount on my, on my PC. So we have a total of 32 gigabytes of RAM at 3200 MHz, which is completely fine. We have an AMD Ryzen 7, but you can also get the AMD Ryzen 9 in this with 3900X at 3.8 gigabyte, uh, gigahertz, I mean, which is completely fine for, or actually very good for the ideal specs, and an RTX 2080 Super 8 gigabytes, which I also recommended in mine. You have 1TB of SSD, 2TB of HDD, and Windows 10 is pre-installed on it. So that basically wraps it up to 2400 US dollars. The processor does have 12 cores, and that is basically it. Again, I'd personally recommend trying out to build your own PC. It's going to be a lot cheaper, and there's plenty of videos out there which are going to show you exactly how to build a PC especially from, for instance, Linus Tech Tips. And that is basically going to do it for this video. Hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye-bye. And enter my giveaway. Don't forget about that. Bye-bye.